Okay, I'm back. So, I was saying, the question was, how did I tell my boyfriend I was pregnant? Um, I found out on Halloween. I worked on Halloween and I got off. Me and my boyfriend had been texting and BBMing each other all day. And I never told him, like, I'm going to go buy a pregnancy test. Because I hadn't got my period. My period was probably, like, five days late or three between three and five days late and I um so I went and bought a pregnancy test spent like 16 bucks on the clear blue I was gonna get like the cheap kind but I was like you know it, it might give me a false negative or pos positive so just spend the money and get the t result you know the most accurate result so I spent like $15 on two pea sticks two pea sticks and um they were clear blue they were not the kind you know what i have it around here somewhere but um i'll show it next video um they were the clear, the clear blue ones it wasn't the digital ones it was the one that says one line means not pregnant and two lines means pregnant so i went and bought it and you know i'm talking to him and not even mention it to him so I go, you know, usually they say the best P to tell most accurate is the first P in the morning, but I couldn't wait. So I bought it and I peed on the stick and a couple minutes later, voila, I get a positive pregnancy test. So I BBM my boyfriend and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have something to tell you. He's like, what, babe? Just say it. I was like, do you want me to call you or should I be being, like, should I say it over the phone? He's like, just say it. So I took a picture of the pre the pee stick and I sent it to him and I said, I'm pregnant. I'm scared. And, um, he, he was just like, um, it's okay. Like, don't panic. Just stay calm. Um, he came down, um, to my apartment and he was just you know support supportive he was really happy actually he was happy you know um but i told him i was going to take another test just to be sure because it could have been a false positive so i took another test and a couple minutes later we have another positive so um kind of i was like i'm pregnant like i'm pregnant so he came over and he he held me and he hugged me and you know, just comforted me and told me not to be scared, not to be nervous. We're gonna, you know, we can do it. We'll work through it. We'll figure it out. Just don't worry about it. Like, let's just enjoy Halloween. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's the way that I told him. Um, he was very, very happy about it. Um, I mean, like, we've been together for five years. We It was conceived out of love. Um, you know, like... Everything, the, 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 I mean, everything in the situation was so right. Like, it wasn't like we were together for a few months and then I got pregnant or I was raped and I got pregnant. Like, not to say that I'm putting you girls down who's in a relationship quick and got pregnant right away. Not at all. It happens. It does happen. But in my circumstance... I'm happy that we were together for five years before I got pregnant. So, um, yeah, that answers that question. Um, let's see. Have I chosen a name yet? Yes, Kaylee. Um, am I stressing a lot during the pregnancy? In the beginning I did because um, I was going through a lot, like in our, me and him were going through a lot in our relationship and we had a lot of trust, I had a lot of trust issues and insecurities and things like that so we would always fight a lot. So I was stressing a lot, a lot um, and then basically I took a clean break from him and was just you know, all about me and baby, getting my happiness and getting myself together. And that really, really helped me. Like, I had a whole new mind frame. And then once we started back talking and hanging out and, you know, started dating again, I was like a whole new person. So, as far as stress goes, no, I'm not stressing anymore at all. Everything is just pure excitement. <laughs> Everything is pure excitement. Um, 
how did you tell your parents you were pregnant? I think I might run out of time, so I don't really want to answer that question right now because I can probably make its own separate video about how we told my parents. Um, yeah, so I'll make that a separate video probably in a couple of weeks or something. How I told my parents along with how I told my family along with how we told his family. So, sorry. I'm not going to answer that right now. Um, how often do you post videos on YouTube? I try to do it every Monday because that's when my days change over. Um, I really try hard. But, um, some days school is just overwhelming and I don't feel like it. So, um, yeah. I try to do it on Mondays. If I don't, I'll do it during the week or the following Monday. Whatever it's more convenient for me. Uh, um, do you feel your second trimester is going by really slow or really fast? When I'm in the moment, I say it's going by really slow. Like right now, and I'm only 22 weeks, so I'm saying, oh, the time is going by slow. But once April 1st hits, I'm like, oh my gosh, that month went by so fast. <laughs> so, I don't know if I'm just like in between, like, I don't know. It's going by slow to me, really slow. But if you look at the overall picture, it's going by pretty fast. Um, <clears throat> is it normal to be horny during the second trimester? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I don't know. Read the internet. Like, <laughs> if you're asking me personally, um, I will say first, I will say first trimester, I didn't want nothing to do with sex. Not all of the trimester, but pretty much majority of the first trimester, I didn't want to have sex at all. My boyfriend was pretty frustrated. <laughs> um, yeah, I just had no urge to. I guess I was always tired and just wasn't in the mood. Um, however, second trimester is a different story. <laughs> um, do I smoke? No, don't smoke weed. Or cigarettes. It's the most disgusting thing in the world. Um, let's see. What's my favorite color? Pink is my favorite color, so it's per perfect that I'm having a little girl. Um, because I love the color pink. Um, what is, what am I craving? I don't really have any cravings. Um, my cravings right now are Skittles. Purple Skittles. They have to be the purple pack, because... The red ones are nasty. I won't eat them. And the last and final question is, do you like, whose videos do you like watching most on YouTube? Honestly, I don't really have a favorite um, because I think all the different girls that I watch are tremendously different and they're very informative and I like actually like watching their videos it's it's like I don't know it's kind of like it's weird it's like we have some sort of connection you know um, knowing the fact that we're, we're all expecting somewhat around the same time like within months of each other so to be able to interact with other moms who are going through the same things I'm going through right now or you know dealing with um, boyfriend issues and body issues and you know it's just amazing like it, it just it's just amazing to me so I don't have a favorite I would say but there are a few channels that I watch probably a bit more than others um, and those would probably be just a few that are like within weeks of me um, but there is one channel that I watch and she's like 35 weeks or something she's hilarious um, that I love watching um, but other than that, I like mostly watch videos of girls who are either a couple weeks behind me or a few weeks ahead of me. Um, just because I feel like I relate with them most. Um, but I do like watching other pregnant moms who are just starting on their journey. And, you know, it's awesome to see how excited they are and, you know, things like that. So, um, yeah, Kaylee's kicking me now. So I think she's ready for me to go to sleep. Um yeah as I said in my other video she's a night owl so um I never really have a hard time sleeping sometimes but I'm okay I love it so 
I'm going to go to bed now, and um, I hope I've answered everyone's questions. There were quite a few that I didn't get to, but I don't want to make this video too long. I don't know how to use a stupid editing program. I tried to use Windows Movie Maker, but for whatever reason, I can't edit the videos, and when I finally do, I don't know how to convert them to so that YouTube will allow it to be uploaded. Like, I'm just like, ah, oh, forget it. So... Sorry if this video is boring, but I was just trying to answer the questions that people ask me. Alright, good night you guys. See you next week.